It's early morning in the county of Oxfordshire and the sun's first rays are struggling to lift the autumn mist. Self-employed jockey James Banks has been forced to cut his day short after the abandonment of Warwick races. Jockeys on average take home £160 a ride and with two originally scheduled for James means he has lost out on a mere £300. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit frustrating, but at the same time, we're quite weather dependent uh, in jump racing. Sometimes it freezes, and sometimes we get a bit of snow in the winter because you can't run that many jump horses through the summer months when the ground get, gets quite tight and, and, and quickens up. He arrived at the gallops at 7 a.m. Every morning he will ride out, which is exercising horses to help out a trainer. Being a self-employed jockey can be hard and not getting paid a set retainer means James very rarely has a day off. In the season when it's busy I'd ride out for sort of seven different trainers and maybe that might be from Monday to Sunday, whereas if I can fit it in. Having the afternoon off is not the ideal for a jockey who is trying to make a name for himself, but James explains how he might be spending the rest of his day. Yeah, today might be sort of sit around scratching my head and that, and that's when days I might get myself in the gym. The interruption to race fixtures might be frustrating to everyone in the industry, but James will be hoping to jump back onto the race course in no time. Lucy Hughes reporting from Banbury, Oxfordshire.